Welcome back to Final Score Friday. Sponsored by Richmond Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics and Loyalty Automotive. Welcome back, everyone watching online for the fifth quarter. Sean and I are going to break down week four of Final Score Friday and play a game called Who Do You Buy? We're going to try and figure out which teams we're going to buy stock in after the first month of the season, in which we still might be a little leery of. We start with our game of the week, number two Dinwiddie hosting Maury. First time these two have played in 40 years. Maury just knocked off Highland Springs last week. Yep. Now they get Dinwiddie this week. You were down there, and they're for real, aren't they? They are for real. They've got talent on both sides of the ball. Uh, the quarterback, Arturi Newkirk. He's got good size, was able to stretch the field. He has some good receivers to make plays after the catch. But didn't we win their bags of tricks to, to start the game? But Maury comes right back, trailed by two at the break, 21-19. Scored the first 27 points of the second half. Pulled away and uh, ended Dinwiddie's two-game winning streak with a 46-29 win over the Gentlemen. Now, Dinwiddie's two wins have been convincing, but their yes. two losses have been revealing. Do you buy them as a Class 4 state title? I will, right. I will still buy. It's almost like people do. Like yes. on the price is right. right. But, yes, I would keep the Dinwiddie Generals. Uh, they have the ability to win those games in our region because now you're just worried about your district and your region teams. The, the higher competition they face, they were there with them. It just seemed like the, the Morris and the Glenvilles, they had some more numbers. The talent showed in those two losses. But I still think Dinwiddie is a formidable challenger in Class 4 this year. Second game that we're going to talk about, Highland Springs, number one team even after losing last week, taking on IC Norcom tonight. And this was a... Maybe you wouldn't have thought it would be, but it was a get well game for Highland Springs in and around all up and down the field. Our photographer Ben was at this game, said the Norcom kids were shell shocked. They were not expecting this at all. They came in at two and one. Highland Springs wins 65 to nothing. So after a loss, after traveling around and with the schedule that they have, do you still buy them as a class six? No threat? question. This is still one of the top teams in all of the state of Virginia. This was, I guess, a chance for them to, to iron out some issues that they've had in those early games. Norcom just happened to be the sacrificial lamb in this contest. Maybe this can be held on and move forward. Highland Springs still dangerous in Class 6. And they still have a couple of road trips to go. They're going to head up to the uh, Northern Virginia, right? They're going to Northern and the, the uh, um, uh, Fredericksburg area as well. They have yeah, another game Riverbend. up in there as well. And then, of course, they still have Orion at the end of the season, so they have their tests as well. Thomas Dale, number three team tonight, taking on um, Glenn Allen, a matchup of unbeatens right, tonight. Right. And Thomas Dale, multiple good defense. They ended up behind Ethan Minter. He had a touchdown rushing, had a touchdown passing tonight. They can do both on offense. No and question. we've seen them do both. This was the touchdown that they allowed tonight to Glen Allen was the first score they've allowed all year. So do you buy them as a class six? I threat? buy them because of their defense. We, we talked so much with Kevin Tucker about the run game. He's still trying to find that bell cow. Ethan Minter is arguably their best player on both on, on offense, definitely. But that defense, when you can hold three opponents, the seven points total, Cosby, Bird, and now Glenn Allen, two of those were undefeated teams. I think they're for real. Watch out. We've talked about Manchester and Holland Springs and Oscar Smith and Western Branch. Watch out for that team in Chester, Thomas Dale in Class 6. I think they're going to be right there in the mix. And Kevin Tucker has his team, you know, at least in the regional fight every single year. So maybe this is the year that they put it all together. Okay, another unbeaten team. 4-0 for the first time in a while. Douglas Freeman, who played on Thursday night this week. First game ever against Collegiate. The school's only separated by three miles. But Douglas Freeman is another team that can run it well enough, yeah. pass it well enough, plays really good defense. Their schedule so far might not be as strong as a couple of the other teams, but they're going to be in Class 5. And, and they're well coached. We and don't talk well a lot right. about George Bland and what he does at Douglas Freeman. They are very well coached. The issue, if there's going to be one issue, the nutrition with that team. Four key starters, four senior starters are injured. A couple are done for the, for the year. 
right. due to injuries. And then the question is going to yeah. The question is going to be the numbers game. When they go up to the, a better level of competition, will those injuries come yep. back to hurt Douglas Freeman? But right now, they are legit in Class Five, and they will probably move up in this week's coaches poll when that's released on Monday as well. Finally, we got to talk about the Hopewell Blue Devils. Yes, after indeed. the slow start that they had last year, uh, they came out tonight. They took on Churchland down in Norfolk. Uh, the truckers, they had never played them before. And this, I mean, Keyshawn Henderson, this is what we wanted to see all last year. He dealt with some injuries last year, but this is what he's able to do. This is what has all the college scouts drooling. Do you buy Hopewell as a threat in class three? I buy him if he stays healthy. And that's right. what Ricky Irby said this offseason. If Keyshawn Henderson stays healthy, watch out for Hopewell this season. But they got themselves a good test next week. Next week. They go to the pit to face an angry Dinwiddie team yeah. next uh, next Friday. So that'll yeah. be an interesting test for Hopewell. For all your week four scores and highlights, just log on to WTVR.com and click the final score Friday page. Thanks for staying up with us. We'll see you next week for week five. Good night, everyone.